Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. That is a nice greeting. You are alive. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Start of another work week. So today is Monday, and what mystery are we going to contemplate today? Joyful. A joyful mystery is very good, Shabby. We haven't done the joyful mysteries, right? So we haven't started with even the first mystery yet. No, not yet. No, this is the first time we're doing the joyful mysteries. Okay, so what's the first joyful mystery? Yeah. The Annunciation. So what is the Annunciation? What, what happened during the Annunciation? Huh? What is the, what is the uh, mystery that we contemplate in the Annunciation? <coughs> Anybody? Huh? Shana? Conception. Huh? Jesus. Okay, well, the, the conception of Jesus. There, there are many things that happened there, right? Jesus was uh, conceived in the womb of the Blessed Virgin, which is then, therefore, the, the incarnation, the beginning of uh, the, the mystery of the incarnation, right? What else happened there? The angel Gabriel. Okay, the angel Gabriel announced to Our Lady that she was to be the mother of God. What does that mean? That means that that was the the time when when our lady received her vocation okay when our lady um, um, received from our lord from from the angel gabriel the uh, revelation uh oh the revelation of her own vocation in life what her mission <laughs> hey eva what does she want okay what else what else happened there hmm what else happened there? So, of course, her vocation was to be the mother of God. That's why they're connected, right? So, but let's, let's imagine the scene to help us contemplate this mystery. Okay? So, what could be happening? Where might Our Lady be when the angel Gabriel appeared to her? Let's see. What might, what might our imagination be able to create for us? What would you imagine Our Lady doing when a, the angel Gabriel appeared to her kneeling down. what's that shall we kneeling down. kneeling down yes kneeling down meaning what could she be doing praying. huh go be praying. praying 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 right our lady might have been <laughs> contemplating might have been absorbed in prayer she might have been maybe reading the scripture or maybe doing something that is connected to, you know, her uh, usual habit of prayer. Okay, she so should she could have been in a prayerful mood at that time, and the angel Gabriel, who was uh, sent by God to announce to her what her vocation was going to be, suddenly appears. And what did the angel Gabriel tell her? What did the angel Gabriel say? Hail Mary. Hail. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Right? There is where we get the prayer of the Hail Mary. Right? Huh? What's that, Toby? Just the first part. The first part of the Hail Mary comes from the greeting of the angel Gabriel. Right? Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. The angel Gabriel praises Our Lady and confirms to her her state of what? When she says, Hail, full of grace. What does that mean? What does that say about Our Lady? What's that, Jenna? That she was free from sin. Right? And what do you call that again? Our Lady being free from sin? From all sin, including original sin? What do you call that state? Immaculate. The Immaculate Conception. Very good, Joe. Okay? So, our, uh, the angel Gabriel practically confirmed to her that she is the Immaculate Conception. Right? Hail! 
She, she, the, the, the greeting hail is, is a greeting of praise. See? It's a greeting of praise. Like, uh, you know, that's, that's what they used to, to greet kings about. And, you know, and, uh, people in, uh, you know, who are royalty. See? Uh, and, and again, that too, that kind of greeting also is a confirmation that Our Lady was queen of the angels. Right? Hail. See? Uh, the kind of greeting you only give royalty. So you imagine here the angel Gabriel, the, an archangel, okay? an archangel. So he belongs to a higher level uh, in, the, uh, in the hierarchy of the angels. And he was sent to announce the vocation of Our Lady. Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Okay? And then the angel proceeds to announce to her that she is to be the mother of God, that she was going to carry in her womb the Son of God. And what does Our Lady tell him? Yeah. Could you imagine, what, what, how would you feel, how would you, how would you think if, if an angel appears to you? If your guardian angel appears to you and starts talking to you and starts telling you things, right? What do you think you're going to feel? Huh? Maybe if you're friends with your guardian angel, you would not be so, so shocked, right? So maybe Our Lady was not very shocked, right? But she definitely could have been very surprised, right? With that announcement. And so, because of her surprise, she tends to ask, Well, how can that happen? How is that going to happen? Our Lady <clears throat> was not asking the angel how it's going to happen because she doubted the angel. Rather, she knew her scripture very well. She knew that this kind of thing was going to happen. And that, in fact, many of the Jewish women, women at the time were hoping that, that Jesus was going to be uh, born from among them. So Our Lady was very conscious of her own history. Our Lady was very conscious of the prophecies from Isaiah and all the other prophets about the coming of our Lord. So they were all expecting that one among the tribe of Judah was going to bear the Son of God sooner or later. See? So Our Lady knew this. So Our Lady was asking not because she doubted what the angel said, but because she wanted to confirm how she can participate effectively with the will of God. You see? So there's a big difference between the question of Zechariah, okay? Nine months before this, or a few months before this, right? When the angel uh, also appeared to Zechariah and told Zechariah, who's Zechariah? Uh, the, the father of John the Baptist, right? When, when the angel told Zechariah that Elizabeth was going to bear a son, Zechariah doubted. This was a clear doubt because Zechariah said, Well, how is I going to have my wife? is so barren. My wife is old, you know. Uh, how is that going to happen? I, you know, I doubt that thing ever happening to my wife and, and to me. Uh-oh. See, he doubted. So the angel uh, punished him for his doubt. In contrast, Our Lady did not doubt. Our Lady wanted to confirm how she could cooperate with the will of God. Cooperate. Cooperate. Is that word familiar? That's what we have been talking about for a few days now, right? How you, everybody, can and should cooperate with our goals as a family, right? So, how are we going to cooperate here? Now, Our Lady was thinking the same way. How will I cooperate with the will of God? <clears throat> what would be the best way for me to cooperate with the will of God and say yes to Him? So the angel explains, this is going to be the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. right? And so that is why the child that is to be born of you is to be the Son of God. It's not going to be the Son of any man. Okay? It's going to be the Son of God. And you shall call him Emmanuel, God with us. And what is the response of Our Lady? Shabelle, thy will be done. 
Very good. Very good. Right? Our Lady responded positively. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Our Lady positively said, Yes, let it be done as you tell me. Yes, I will cooperate with what God wants. Yes, I'm going to make myself available to be serving God the way He wants me to serve Him. That is a beautiful response of Our Lady. Fiat voluntas tua. See? Let it be done according to your will. And then, with that answer, with that answer, the Word became flesh. The Word became flesh, meaning the Word, because before that, God was just a Word, right? A Word here means revealed through the prophets and through the kings and through the judges, and they were just hearing about God, okay? But this time, with the response of Our Lady, that Word that God who they just heard by revelations through the prophets is now becoming or has now become incarnate. Incarnate meaning? We were just reviewing this word very recently. What does incarnate mean? To be made flesh. To be made flesh. To be carne. To be flesh, right? To be made man now. Right? To be made man now. So the, the answer of Our Lady when she said, Yes, I want to be the mother of God. Yes, I'm going to make myself available. The Word became flesh. And that was the beginning right there of a different journey for the life of Our Lady and for the rest of the world. See? The beginning of the incarnation. Beautiful. Eh? Beautiful, beautiful mystery to contemplate. And then again, I want to remind everybody, see, when you, when you pray the rosary, try to be reminded of these mysteries. Let us not just rattle off the Hail Marys and, uh, mindlessly, right? All throughout the mystery, let us try to think of what might be happening in that little room of the Blessed Virgin while she was talking to the angel. Let's think about what was going on in Our Lady's mind. Let's think about her response. And then in contrast, let us use it to examine our own, <laughs> our own response. Yes, yes, she's still hungry. Let us examine our own response to the many things that God might be asking of us every day. Okay? Every day of our lives, God asks many little things from us. How do we respond? How do we respond to these things? Do we imitate Our Lady's example? Are we ready to say, Fiat, I will do your will in the same manner that Our Lady was so enthusiastic and willing to do the will of God and cooperate with what God wants? Right? It's a very beautiful example for us, not only in living the big vocation that all of us have, but in putting into practice the many little instances of the day where we realize God is asking something from us. How do we respond to that? And it could be as little as a, you're studying, pay attention to your schoolwork, or you haven't done your chores, go do your chores. Okay? All of those are responses to the will of God every day, every day, every day. Or your mommy or daddy told you, to do something. How do you respond? Do you get up right away? Do you do it right away? Because remember, obedience has to be prompt, right? If you don't do it right away, it's like doing not doing it at all. So all of these little things, every day, let us remember the fiat of Our Lady. Thy will be done. And let's hope to imitate her good example. Okay, everybody. That's it for us. We're off to Mass. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.